Oh, oh, oh. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> Hey Blankers, and welcome back to the second part of this podcast episode. Do you remember at the end of the last one, we had so much great stuff recorded, we had to break it up? Well, this is the next bloody bit. Enjoy! Okay, and hello little Blankers, and welcome to this latest episode. Um, As is usual with season two, we've got a guest with us. We've lured another one through the bloody doors. This time... Will you please, gentlemen, prepare your very camp ghosts and welcome to the pod, Mr. Taylor Garner. Woo! Good evening, sir. How you doing? Hello there. I'm good. I'm good. Excellent. Thank you very much for coming down and seeing us, spending some time with us. Um, so let's start at the beginning. Let's uh, let's let you talk about you. Tell us who is Taylor Garner and what does he do? <laughs> well, uh, I'm in a band called Soul Case. I started making music probably when I was. I don't know, 16, probably. And, uh, yeah, I started just making instrumentals and stuff and then uh, decided to get a microphone and start making my own music pretty much because I, like, I ran out of music to listen to. and like You so completed I th- all music. <laughs> yeah, I completed that's music. music. At 16. So <laughs> yeah. That is an impressive, all music. impressive statement. <laughs> no, it was oh, very yeah. different music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was very different to what I'm making now. But, like... Um, yeah, and no, I sort of got into like the more more rocky sort of stuff. It was during lockdown, really. Yeah. And um, me and my pal, we was like, obviously couldn't go out or whatever. So we was playing uh, Rock Band on the Wii. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. that's what we was playing. Yeah. A lot of good memories. Yeah, and we was like, why don't we just do this properly, like yeah. for real? Yeah. And um, so that's what we did. We bought guitars, and then like there was nothing else to do during lockdown. Yeah. So we thought, learn guitar. And uh, I found a guy that I knew in school. Um, from school uh, called Casey and he's our drummer now um, okay. he's world class drummer yeah yeah and, uh, he <laughs> had hearing about him really. <laughs> yeah, big yeah, up like, Casey big up yeah, Casey yeah. oh mate so how long did it take you to actually learn all the like properly learn the guitar and all that like we started off obviously not good so, like, yeah. and it's still a lot like work in progress but we managed to get like I've I've got quite a good ear, I think, for like for music and stuff, and I like I pick things up pretty easily, and yeah. I can sort of like any music that I'm trying to make, I can sort of envision it before it happens, if you know what I mean. So you're like a midfield footballer, just seeing the yeah, whole picture in front of you, <laughs> just seeing the play. The Odegaard of the guitar. Oh, oh mate, yeah, is that, <laughs> nice. So is that the same with the writing process, Taylor, as well? Your writing process, do you visualise it? It's a very strange yeah. process for me, to be honest. Like it's, I can't like plan when I make music, like. I'll just be indoors and like two in the morning, a whole song will just pop into my head. It's it's very weird. Like, and it's hard to like sit there and try to make music because Mm. then a lot of the time it just won't happen. Yeah. Um, so yeah, like it's it's very sporadic for me, but it's it just feels more magical like that because yeah, it just comes out so easy, yeah. like, and you don't know what's going to come out of it. And do you go from start to finish? Can you do like a whole complete? Not all the time, thing, or is it? Yeah. But it will be like I'll have the complete idea of what I want right. this song to be yeah. before I do it. Do you know what I mean? And then I go into it, and I make the instrumentals and stuff, and it like. All of our music so far has been pretty much me, to be honest. Like just getting guitars down. <laughs> yeah, you know so, I mean? so just in case anyone's looking to uh, take any of the royalties of yeah, future, yeah, yeah. It's it's all it was me. me. It was all, all me. me in your band. Uh, there's five of us in the band. So, so you and Casey, you, you, so yeah, you picked you up you and Casey. Yeah. The other three, are five. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're hangers on at best. Yeah. Just leave it at the minute. I think, yeah. I think what you should probably do is name check them all at this point, yeah. just so we've got an even distribution. Casey's got a class, and I write the stuff. There's five of us. The one makes performing Mungus. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, do you want to give us a, a nod to who else we've got? In, uh, yeah, in sure. We've got Casey in the band, Tyler, Roberto and Charlie at the moment. Now, I'm gonna instantly, at the moment, I have to pick up on Roberto. <laughs> my, astu- my assumption is he's called Rob, but yeah. you've really given him an exotic Roberto. name. Roberto. Or is he yeah, actually an Italian well, We call him Spanish. Linguini, but... Does he get the girls? <laughs> is he like a proper... Uh, I t- uh, that sounds bad, doesn't it? <laughs> he is an Italian. Italian. Is, is he, Italian uh, yeah. smoothie, that's what I was going to say. He is an Italian, yeah. <laughs> he is an Italian smoothie. He's full Rossi, Daryl. You're okay. That's cool, you man. Can go down I love a full Rossi. Yeah, I love a full Rossi. Touche. So how long have you been active as a fire? piece in that case is it all probably about a year okay yeah not very long but um like we've been getting a bit of traction like playing um playing all the shows that we can 
playing all the local ones and like been getting mostly London ones to be honest, which cool. is like that's where you want to be like playing because you don't know who's watching in London. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Okay. Like that's the. F- that's why we try and play there more to be honest like we love playing the local gigs because obviously you can get family and friends there yeah. or whatever but chances are there ain't going to be I like a label person yeah. or whatever standing at the bar getting a drink like watching it. it's just not going to happen yeah. over here so like London is where it needs like it's where yeah. you need to be you so need where to- might you have played thus far and what have you got coming up for example <clears throat> we've played we've played all around really we've played Camden a few times uh, Soho a few times uh our recent one was New Cross. Um, yeah, we've got one 7th of April coming up in Soho and uh, O2 Islington, actually, oh, nice. in wow. 22nd of April. So, wow, that's true. Was the one you had at the Amersham Arms? Is that Amersham yeah, Arms, yeah. That's quite a decent venue, isn't it? Yeah, it was yeah. good. Yeah, 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 it was Yeah, it was a fun venue. And um, I think, yeah, we headlined that one, I think. Uh, no, not that one. We did the one before. There was like 10 bands playing and they, they got us playing headline. That was a good one, to oh, be okay. fair. There was like bands playing throughout the day. There was one uh, we did on Canvey as well. I don't know if you you know mm. Jimmy Max. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, we played that one, and that's like an outdoor one. Like nice. it's, okay. it's wicked. Like yeah. I wish they'd do it every year. I think they are now. They're actually. gonna do. Yeah, They've already set say, the yeah, stage kind up, of, yeah, need that bit of weather, didn't you? Just mm. to, yeah. Yeah. Who's the most it. you've played to. Um, I'm not actually sure to be honest. Like they're not massive crowds yet, if I'm honest. But, but are you like, finding they're growing. They are growing. So that's yeah. the, the, yeah, the that's main it. thing. Like, it? We're getting better bills as we're going on. Like yeah. at first you start off like playing under about three bands. Right. Like you you just nobody. But then like once you start playing for promoters and stuff, they start seeing that you're good and then they'll put you on like as yeah. the headline headline act for the night or whatever. Um so yeah, that's what we've been getting lately, is just playing like headline shows and like oh it's great man. I love it. Yeah. I absolutely love it. <laughs> so, so do you good. have do you have the nerves or do you have like the it's a good thing it brings out a little extra something from a performance? A lot of tequila, or? but yeah, yeah. Oh, really? yeah. <laughs> that quells the nerves. Okay. Do so you have like, to get drunk before yeah. you go on? Oh yeah, always. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? Do you <laughs> need to. do you have to, yeah? Not like no, have to, no. but like it just <laughs> no, makes, yeah. makes yeah. it so much That's a different meeting, isn't it? This is a safe space. If you want to tell us anything, it's just more fun. Yeah, you want to go out there and enjoy yourself. Like I don't want to go out there and think of it as work do you know right, what I mean? like, yeah. so are you a type of front man are you, can you like give us an example of a front man that you could be like or are you your own man oh or? there ain't no one like me no, yeah. I mean, <laughs> that's, that's a good answer no I'm joking um, I don't know just like I like energy yeah. like, and I think people in the crowd can feel that when they oh, watch yeah. a yeah, performance yeah, you know what I mean yeah. and they know what's real so I think you need to give that to it like, as well as playing your music if your music's great then great but like you need to put on a show while yeah. you're there do you know yeah. what I mean that's what people come for and it as well it backs up your music yeah, right? cool. yeah if it's a paying crowd then give them give them something that's absolutely. it yeah. wearing leather pants <laughs> no levers yet. Big, big, fill in with a big question. No levers. Can't stand the chafing. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah, the squeaking noise. If you don't, if you don't apply the oh, right man. amount of talc. It's an absolute oh, nightmare. Man. You don't. You don't need that in your life. I love it if you write a song at two o'clock in the morning called "Can't Stand the Chafing." Can't stand the chafing. <laughs> that needs to be yeah. done. That's my next track. I think. Del instigate, and I will be claiming a writing credit. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> nice. So you've got um, obviously gigs coming up and, and so on. Sure. Um, what can people sort of expect? What kind of sound of you got going on with the band what's the your so we're mo- like we're trying to incorporate more of our new songs which aren't actually out at the moment like into our set like in shows moving forward mm-hmm. and the songs are like they are getting a bit heavier as they go along but it's not like it's not like one of them unlistenable heaviness yeah. you know what i mean because yeah. we started off as like more of an indie rock band but it's like the more you play these shows, the more you feel it when you're out there. And that yeah, translates yeah. into the music that you're making because when I'm making this music, I feel like how I feel when I'm up there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So you're, you're writing songs that are going to be better live, that you can perform better Essentially, live. Yeah, 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 kind of. Like, And everyone says like when they've listened to us is that the songs sound exactly like the record. And that's, a that's how I try yeah, and yeah, make the yeah. songs. Like, is how you're going to hear them when you come and see us live because like that's you need to be immersed in it, I think. Mm. It's a fair comment. Can't yeah, 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 yeah. Sounds good. So you're going heavier then, you say, yeah? Not like, no. I mean, pro- pro- people are to yeah, 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 drummers having a field day without yeah, yeah, yeah. music to his ears. <laughs> yes. we're, not, we're not thrash metal in. It's not quite, <laughs> yeah. it's not quite there. But, no, yeah. just a bit more like distorted guitars and like right, a bit yeah. more bit more crunch to it. So so where can you, that's on the newer 
side of things. Sure. What, where can people hear older stuff of yours? Are you Spotify? Are you? Yeah, it's all on uh, all on major streaming platforms: Spotify, Apple Music, um, all of them ones really. Yeah, and we've got um, Soul Case. Soul Case. Or one word, or is that two words? Space in the middle. Proper Gotta gets my sure. goat when people don't put a space in the middle. Gotta oh, be oh. sure. Okay. <laughs> Phil, Phil does all of our uh, typing for the. Uh, the stuff on yeah, that. no. That'll have no spaces in it. He'll be like, oh, I, I don't know. I wasn't listening. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah, no. Soul no, Case. Soul case space words. in the middle. Yeah, that's it. We've got an album out at the moment. It's a self-titled album. Came out, I think, August last year. Is that yeah. the one with like blue on and stuff? yeah, yeah? yeah. yeah blue. I know it's the the first one that I listened to on, on Spotify, but I I love that. I you like that one? Yeah, 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 cool. That one was like very inspired by the Cure. Like, um, it was, yeah, if it was Boys Don't yeah. Cry at that tune. Yeah, like, yeah. I, was, oh, yeah. I was heavily into that tune at the time. I think yeah, I made yeah. that, and I, I was like, yeah, I need to make yeah. something like this because that's like what all my music is. It's just music that I like to listen to. Yeah. That's why I like all my music because it's, it's what <laughs> I like. Stuff I like to. Yeah, well, that's it. That's what they say about everything. Any form of art, they say. Do what you, you know, like. when you write films, it's write what you'd watch. Yeah. And if you music, it's, I have, do can you imagine you, anything yeah. worse than having to perform a load of stuff that you just didn't really believe? <laughs> yeah, in? yeah. What am I doing with my time? This is nonsense. <laughs> no, that's yeah. it. And I, like, I've got a, uh, I have a like music studio at mine. I have people come in to record and stuff. Oh, nice. And I, like, yeah. I notice a lot that that people lose it. They lose touch of like why they're making music. Like mm. what? Like, I had someone come in to me and said like, oh man, I, I, like. I just find rapping really hard, and I, I just knew mm. he's one of these people who are online just purely just to just to look like it online. That well, he does yeah, this, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? And then, like, I was sort of thinking Style in my head, like, why are you doing this then? Mm. Like, if it's a chore for you, yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean? That's course. not what yeah. making music is yeah, about. Yeah. Like you meant to sit down and write pen to paper, like with your music because you love it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? That's yeah. that's what it should be about. Of course. Oh man, I got a rapper that struggles Deep to rap. rap. <laughs> yeah, that's no, like no. quite. Sure, that's the most spontaneous thing that should be. Oh, no. So I just give up, man. I love to see him go when to Del like a, a rap battle. Oh. <laughs> rap battle? Could you? Oh, man. I want to see you at one day. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I actually want to say. That's what you dream. Yeah, well, that's what I dream of. I'll make it happen once. Yeah. Oh yeah, Biggie D. Go away. Yeah. Go away. Do one on the pod, can we? Get some. Can in, you Del. imagine Dell on a rap battle? Okay. Yeah. We got we got a lot of ideas for season <laughs> yeah. three. It's going to get weird, isn't it? <laughs> Splendid stuff. So um, yeah, mentioned. Let's just do one more quick plug for the uh, for the upcoming gig as well. I think it's best. So you're at the O2 O2 Islington uh, on the twenty second of April. Uh, I need to find out more details mm. if I'm honest about like timings and stuff of what time we're yeah. on. I, yeah. I think there's probably about four bands on right. that night. Um, so yeah, we like we're literally just trying to get everyone there. Tickets are yeah. online. You can find it on our. Um, our Instagram, Soul Case UK. Uh, missing our bio, uh, like the link to the tickets and stuff. Cool. So yeah, it's all on there. All it's on that a page. decent venue, that. Isn't it? Yeah, it's mm. good. Yeah, yeah, it's about. Will that be your biggest one? Yeah, 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 biggest one. Yeah, about eight hundred capacity, I think. Oh, nice. And that's going to be a blend of new and old. That's line, yeah, it's yeah. going to be rocking, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's going to be lively. Yeah. So is that make it eight hundred and three? Actually, Barry's yeah. joining us. Eight hundred and four. Yeah, yeah. 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 We'll take take us over the fire. Uh, <laughs> yeah, man. to hell with it. We oh, don't man. care. So who's getting little. your equipment up there? Is it a case of you got a van driver? No, all we all just like we all just drive it up there. I don't drive cottage industries. I'm the front man, so I'll just get carted about. Yeah, yeah. Carriage. They lift you. <laughs> I'm, I'm over throat. here, gentlemen. Lift me. Off we go. Where's yeah. my tequila? Yeah. Not, <laughs> yeah. Not the drummer. He's amazing. The other yeah. one. Yeah. Is. No. Come on, you have forgotten me. your name. Uh, yeah. I'll call you one and you two. The, R- the artist needs cooling down. Find me down, please. Find me down. Chase needs whittles. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Off we go. <laughs> oh, it may no. not be like that. We we, we yeah, might have been doing something there yeah, slightly. Yeah, sorry yeah. We're going to find out the band was split up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We love them all equally and uh, separately. Uh, yes, indeed. <laughs> nice. Uh, gentlemen, do you want to uh, inquire any more about yeah, our guests currently? Yes. Ooh. Shall we? When Phil does this, the Fire last away. one's about leather trousers. We need so some, like... No, no, this who is knows where they're going to go? Intrigued. Make so some dramatic music. The <laughs> album you've... Um, Spotlight on Phil's question. It's on Spotify. Sure. How long did that take to do from start to finish from start to finish um i mean like i'm never hammering at this like every single day like eva it's not like it's not like that for me really it's like because again i don't want to make it something that i don't like doing mm. yeah so i do it when i feel like i need to do it so that probably took me oh, i don't know maybe about a year to get out maybe maybe not as long as that no maybe about 
nine months maybe to get out. So okay. when you say oh, you're so you're writing it, I'm guessing that's by yourself. And then when the band get together, do you go and play them what you've done, and then they just yeah, pretty much. That? Like I'll make some. Like I'll be like this. This is the thing as well. Like I can't tell when I'm going to make music. So yeah. like. I'll just make something and then I'll send it over to them mm. and be like, do you like this? Like, of course they like it. Yeah. And then, um, <laughs> <laughs> I'll never ask them, do you no, like this? Yeah, I'll yeah, just go this look at this. This is, this. Yeah. Yeah. This is number four. It's a yeah. question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, they always like it. And then, uh, yeah, I'll just show them how I played it and then off we go at rehearsal. And has anyone nice. ever got the balls to come in and go... Uh, Tell you, I've written what about some it? music. Yeah, yeah. 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 Do you want to hear it? Like, no, fuck it. Yeah. No, because mine's already too good. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair play. You can't admire the confidence. Yeah. 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 You can't be a, a, a show and retiring guy as a, a lead singer, can you? Let's be honest. I think the thing is, like, you can't, like, why would anyone think that you're the best band in the world mm. if you don't walk around telling people that you're the true. best band in the world? Very, like, yeah. If I walked around being like, oh, my band's all right. Yeah. Right. Who's yeah, going to yeah. go and listen to it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I just imagine coming to see you, right. and I'm, I mean, I've got it in my head now. Just like <laughs> there's a backdrop, like black screen. You at the front of it, and there's like silhouettes behind just the, yeah, the rest yeah, of the yeah, band. Yeah. <laughs> see their faces. Yeah. <laughs> That's not a bad idea, yeah. is it? Yeah. Yeah. He's definitely taking that one. He's like, he's writing it down. Right. He's writing <laughs> it down. Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> Can you imagine? What do we need for uh, the rider? Just a very large black <laughs> screen. <laughs> Not a problem, <laughs> uh, Richie Dizzle. How are you? Uh, how are you finding this? Are we? Uh, are we? Are we? Are we floating your boat? Uh, yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I, I, I've got something. Yeah, I, yeah like I, said, I, I listened to this afternoon. I was like really pleasantly surprised. You know, he's all going. This is really good. <laughs> yeah, no, honestly. Yeah, because yeah, like, thank you very much. Because all, if that's the older stuff, because I think we're all of a certain similarity in musical taste as well yeah so mm. yeah we know that yeah. We, one of us likes it yeah, really oh, no, yeah, I'm looking away. forward to the I want to hear the second album now yeah. 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 yeah yeah you like you like a bit of heavy as well didn't you mate? Yeah. yeah I'm looking forward to the sound of it it's yeah, like um, yeah no in- instantly like, like, I remember like the first time I met you and then like you said it was on like a, a sort of uh, Spotify I listened to it and yeah straight away I was like wow this is <laughs> bang on out it's good like bang on out that night no because you just you just don't yeah I did yeah that's the thing it was a little bit it was a bit awkward when my wife wrote but <laughs> but, that's the thing but, anyone normally says oh I'll like, give my music a listen yeah. like, you've got to sort of like you think mm, how's this going to be do you know what I mean well, that, that, you, you don't know do you just don't know take a chance isn't it yeah. yeah that's what Abba said yeah exactly yeah <laughs> it's like when we say oh yeah we've got a podcast and then people just go oh <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, I've got ADHD what do you yeah, yeah yeah what do you want to do <laughs> yeah. do you want a medal you're wanna... swapping weird shit okay yeah. fine <laughs> yeah so no, it's no. always nice to get a different uh, different sort of member of the, the community mm. out there yeah definitely find out what's yeah. happening out there in the music thing because we get to a certain it. age we don't know what the fuck's going on do we really <laughs> oh, I'll have a question with it. yeah what's that rock band on the way could you play the guitar behind your back because <laughs> I could Funny enough, on no. rock band, I was on drums. Really? Oh, really? I was, yeah. Was and I excelled band. on drums. Oh, man. <laughs> What's your right. favourite really? song on it? Uh, uh, oh, I had one. What was it? Oh, that God. Is, that is possibly your most insightful question. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah. Like, I mean, it's yeah. on the spot. I'm trying <laughs> to think that. I remember Guitar yeah, Hero 3. If it, if it comes back to you, you're fucked, aren't you? Essentially. Yeah, exactly. Like, I remember hmm. Guitar Hero 3, but not Rock Band. It was Hit Me With Your Best Shot with, by <sighs> Pat Bennett. Was it Pat Bennett? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, brilliant. Yeah, that's great shot. And Kiss, what was a. Oh, oh. Party all rock night and, long. Rock, oh, rock yeah, and roll. Yeah. Want to rock and roll all night? Yeah, that yeah. One. that's the one. <laughs> but yeah, what, yeah. what was your uh, your tune of choice? I think it was a. Remember? It was probably a Green Day tune. <gasps> or yeah. Yeah. They always did basket cases. Yeah. Do you remember the first yeah. one, like the World yeah. Tour one? Was it? And Brainstorm, oh, mate. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, Brainstorm. Uh, Brain Stew. Brain Stew. Brainstorm was an Arctic. What was the one he did by himself? That one was on one of them. It was the acoustic Billy, one. Billy Joe. September end. Twenty one guns. No, it's the. Oh, oh when September ends? No, no. So yeah. Oh, balls! I can't think what it's called. Now. I'm gonna have to look. Run out of That's all right. Yeah. Now what we'll, 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 we'll talk to yeah. Phil. can work out what we're talking about. <laughs> cool, mate, but that's that's pretty impressive on the drums, though, mate. <laughs> yeah, because rock rock band. And to go from yeah, that to then me. teaching yourself guitar within yeah, a year, yeah. to set up a play. band, and then I mean, like, it was probably I think it was probably in me to be honest. Like from my dad, like he's. He's always been. with He was in bands and stuff when he was like young. Not too long ago, probably about in the last fifteen years, he was probably in bands and stuff. But so, did he guide your yeah. kind of musical taste to a certain extent? Was there sort of always music in the house? I think, to be honest, like I, I've never really had dad about too much. Like, yeah. but I only really remember from like my younger years. But I remember, like for example, yeah. like my first iPod Shuffle. Like, and it had all like 
it was all Green Day and My Chemical Romance yeah, and yeah. just like so I think that's what built my sort like that embedded that in me yeah, I think yeah, from a young time, age yeah. and getting in the car and going out with Dad or whatever and like hearing like just all the tunes on like they're yeah. playing out like super loud. I think that just instilled it into yeah. me. Sort yeah, of. cool. Mm. Has, he, has he heard much of your music or has he... I think... I, I guess he has. Well, sure okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't really talk to him. Oh, okay. Actually, oh, oh, fair <laughs> we could go down a very yeah, dark no, world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's cool. Yeah, no, probably, yeah, 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 probably leave that one. This, this could be the <laughs> podcast that brings them no, back no, to no. the <laughs> It was um, Good Riddance was the song I was thinking of. Oh, and as yes. if apt. Oh, yeah, good, good riddance. riddance. That was on. Up. That was on one of them. I can't remember what. Time was. of your life. Yeah, uh, that's yeah. That's oh, what mate, it is. No one right. knows it's good riddance. They all know it's time of your life, but it's in brackets. Brackets. Isn't it? yeah, yeah. It's always a fucking bracket yeah. that throws you for a loop, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. Well, it's really <laughs> true. You got me. Yeah. Wise, wise words there. Wise words indeed. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's been an absolute treat so far. So we're hoping that mm. we're going to hear a little bit of music from you a little bit later on, if that's sure. uh, yeah. if that's all right. Sounds good um, to me. Shall we? Shall we ruin the surprise, or shall we uh, find out what it's going to be? Oh. Ooh. What me on the drums? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, that's no, a terrible wow. surprise. Casey's he knows got, a good drummer. Casey's going to be does shitting himself. Not <laughs> know yeah. Him. <laughs> let's let's leave it as a surprise in that case, um, music wise. Um, sure. But for the time being. We say thank you, and we're going to strand you on an island in a mm. little bit. Good luck. <laughs> Fly me away. <laughs> right, this is my rendition of Stevie Ray Vaughan's Pride and Joy. To the blind, my baby loving cause the sun to shine. She's my single thing, she my pride and joy. She's my sweet little baby, I'm her little lover boy. Yes, I love my baby with my heart and my soul. Love like ours that won't never grow. Oh, she's my sweet little thing. She's my pride and joy She's my sweet little baby I'm a little lover boy I love my baby like the father's the one Stick with her until the end of time She's my sweet little thing She's my pride and joy She's my sweet little baby I'm a little lover boy Yes, I love my baby with my heart and my soul Love like eyes that won't ever grow old She's my sweet little thing She's my pride and joy She's my sweet little baby I'm a little lover boy She's my sweet little baby I'm a little lover boy Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, Blankers, we are rumbling on with the podcast, and our special guest, Mr. Taylor Garner, joins us on <gasps> Desert Island Dicks. Are you ready, sir, to be stranded on the islands? I'm ready. Lovely Woo. stuff. We are going to probe hard because this sad music. Oh. Um, uh, this is the last, last one. Yeah, it's the last Desert Island Dicks, isn't it? Because we are, know. yeah. As we finish off the um, the, the noughties, oh, as we, we finish uh, off the guests, gonna, as we finish off the guests <laughs> in the car park with a, <laughs> give, with give a, it a hand tire up. iron, um, 
we yeah we're finishing off the the noughties and we're going to sort of put the desert island to bed and mm. we're going to come back with a new and improved probing session yeah i'd be improved. in the next mm. series mm. well phil's confident phil arrogance well, we're gonna let so. phil do most of the probing so be <laughs> hard hitting yeah. questions so do i get probed you get you, you get thoroughly probed, thoroughly probed. this is probably going to be mm. our most insane probing Ooh. yet Ooh. So, uh, <laughs> most i hope yeah, you're wearing session. your strongest going underwear. out the bang <laughs> yeah exactly so uh first question um, so we've worked out that you're more of a sort of a, a noughties than a nineties, but sure. if your answers straddle, not a problem. Um, so first question, start for 10. Um, what noughties Richard or Dick might you like to be stranded on the old mm. island with? I'm probably going to have to go with maybe Richard Hammond. Little Ooh. Hamster. Ooh. Little Hamster. Ooh. Another out in for yeah. the Hamster. Uh, what leads well? you to... Yeah, he has, yeah. Yeah, what leads you to uh, Little Hammond? Well, you never know. He might be able to crash us into a building or something if he uh, if we get a bit, <laughs> There's a bit tired of, of being on this island, mate. Just go out and yeah, he's good at that. Yeah, so no, absolute blazing that. fireball. Yeah, yeah, that's the way to go. Yeah. It's the only way to go. Off that's the, the only way, island, isn't it? Yeah, it could do. Crash into a palm tree, get you some uh, coconuts down. Yeah, it's every yeah. chance. I mean, he's light enough; you can throw him up there. Yeah, he is, mate. <laughs> he's only little. He's useful, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. Plus, you could Fling definitely take him in a fight and possibly put him on the spit and then eat him if worst comes to worst. He's not that annoying as well, is he? So, yeah, no, that's it. Yeah. Not. Oh, I think he is. Oh, really? You got yeah. beef with him? Oh, no, I, just, I think I find him quite annoying. Hammond beef. After all, after all okay. these apps, and now it comes. Yeah, out. really. Yeah, 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 no, yeah you didn't. Just nothing that bad, but he just great at me a little bit. If he's listening, do you want to call him out? Yeah. He's only small, isn't he? Yeah. Well, no, no offence. He's only little. You're he's hardly a walking giant yourself. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I was, que- the that's why I was questioning it. Making sure he was. The, the yeah. You're, the you're question hardly Jeff before. Capes, are you? <laughs> you know, before I committed to that, I wanted to question that he was small. <laughs> Old Phil the giant. <laughs> he's, he's, like, he's only it'll little. Be a, it'll be a good fight. <laughs> it'll be interesting. It'll be, be pay per view, mate. If we can sell tickets for box office. KSI, we can sell tickets for you against Richard Saudi Arabia, mate. Oh, yeah, mate. The big money. That's where people deserve to see this. It's kind of me. shit. You against yeah. Hammond. I'd love it. <laughs> yeah, it'd be stuff. sponsored by Prime all the time, mate. Yeah. 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 100%. 100%. <laughs> That's the second outing for Hammond. He's, he's mm. obviously doing something right out there, isn't he? Yeah. You've had no, another Hammond. We had so, a yeah. Hammond, but I, I think... I thought some... he was picked for like, being the annoying person. Has he been no, picked it's because no. he's he'd done a, um, a show where he gets stranded bizarre oh, on yeah, a desert he island. Oh, invents uh, stuff. With like, like a guy from... Is it Mythbusters that's on Discovery? It's one of them. See, I must have known. And subliminally, so, yeah, he he's got in intel. There. He's weaseled in there somehow, he and he's not letting shit. go. Yeah, but it's a great shout. Yeah, can't well, be, can't two people can't be wrong. That's, that's why. It. That's the way I think about it. That's it. All right. So you and Richard Hammond, you're there. You're on the island. You've had a lovely day rubbing oil into each other. I don't know what you do. Um, <laughs> I would definitely be doing it. Hunting for coconuts. <laughs> what um, classic, and we say classic in inverted comment, uh, comments, <laughs> uh, from the 90s or noughties, might you be listening to at the end of the day? This is album. This is album. So album. what music soothes your desert island souls? If I'm honest, I don't mm. listen to too much of the noughties music, but if I had to pick an album, it would probably be one of the early Arctic Monkeys albums. Okay. Ooh, nice. yeah. Yeah. I can't think of the name of the what one did, with the guy on the front of it. Yeah, whatever. Um, what is it? Whatever. Something like that. <laughs> whatever. Yeah, whatever. Whatever you call me, I'll call you back. Yeah. That's yeah, <laughs> something like that. Wherever I lay my hand, that's my home. That's it. Yeah, yeah, that is it. Yeah, yeah. Something yeah. like that. That's yeah. the one. I was one of my choices in the top. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? That was good, mate. Yeah. yeah. It's, a fine, it's a fine album. You yeah, it's it storytelling-wise, it's great, I think. Yeah. yeah, I'm not like, I'm not massively into them now. and like no, I can't. music now. The album they did, no. No, I can't stand. Like the beef you have for Hammond. Yeah. For the Completely Arctic unreasonable, <laughs> but it's it's there and it deserves to I be just, acknowledged. Like, I liked them back in the day because like yeah. you look at old videos of them and like they was playing Reading and just going out there in just jeans and a cardigan, like yeah. just playing like it was real back then. But yeah. now they're a bit like what pretentious are they? Yeah, yeah. a bit poncy now. Like I think like they got big in America and now I think didn't they? So, yeah, yeah, really. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Because oh, okay. th- they've yeah. just come back with another album, haven't they? Yeah, in the yeah. Last, last well, they bought one out there. Cool, so like, they, yeah, they've come back, they went to Woolworths. <laughs> went into the chicken mix. They, yeah, they've, they've come back with Daphne Ma, and Celeste. Mama, Mama, put back hits. an album. <laughs> <laughs> I've been shopping, Mama. I don't know why they're from the deep south. Yeah. <laughs> that sound like the, they sound like yeah, the most exactly. at the end of Fraggle Rock. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I got me a flag, yeah. mama. Oh, please uh, sing me an Arctic, song, <laughs> Arctic Monkey song in that accent, mate. Oh, I, I, funny, I knew, but I, see, I was never a, <laughs> a fan. Didn't get uh, into monkeys. Yeah. No, Must like Mardi Bum right. or. No. But you, no, but you me, look me, good me, on the good. dance floor? I do, Del. Yeah. Come on, Jim. I know oh, you're singing. That's a great tune. You must know that one. 
Oh, well, I bet, I that bet you, you look good, good on yeah. the dance floor. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I'm going now. This this feels a dangerous road. Like a robot from 1984. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that was, I mean, there was a bit in between. I know, no, but, feel, feel no, getting no. really upset that we're taking all the glory. <laughs> yeah, I'm loving it. Terrible impressions. <laughs> guess, well, uh, just our guest has just left. He? He's just, he's <laughs> just just went, you look like you're entertaining yourselves yeah, now, yeah. lads. Okay, so we've covered off uh, Naughty's Richards. We've covered off Naughty's albums. Let's think about what movie is playing on the uh, the portable telly and DVD player that you've somehow been washed up with. Tell you what, is there one have you ever that... seen The Green Mile? Mm. Hell yeah, yeah. Oh, mate. That's yeah, probably one of my favourite films. Yeah, and yeah. I don't watch many films, but that is probably one of my favourites. It's exquisite. Yeah, it's, it's a great film. Yeah, yeah. Really great film. Come on, Tom Hanks is exquisite in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The big yeah. dude. The big dude. John Coffey. John Coffey. John Coffey. <laughs> Like, like, like the a drink, drink. Yeah, spell the same. Yeah. <laughs> Did we ever get to the bottom of the mouse was called? So I know there's uh, Mr. Mr. Jingles. Jangles, Mr. Jingles. Jangles. And this is one the other day, and we were having a debate, and none of us knew Jingles Jingle or Jangles. 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 It was Mr. Jinx. Yeah. We didn't, oh, mate. Yeah, yeah. Did call him Jinxy for short Jinxie. or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's it. Yeah, it's Jingles, isn't it? I think. Yeah, what's his name? Percy. Yes, he steps on him. Yeah, the proper psychopath. Oh, that Percy. You just want to batter him. Doesn't when you watch that film. Doesn't wet the sponge. He's like, dirty little thing. Dude, didn't no, he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you're gonna watch oh. him fry now. It's like, oh, yeah, we can't turn it off. Why not? Because he's not dead. Yeah. Oh my yeah. Jesus! Yeah, he's proper evil. He's vile. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. Horrible. Classic film. Like you got Sam Rock, Rockwell in it as well, and he's, he's like a loon yeah. as well. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's quality. But is that his first film? What Sam Rockwell? It's got to be. Yeah, I think it must be one it's of them. Maybe. The first one I remember him being in, but I don't know if it was. When was Green Mile? Ninety six. No, it was it? Was it? No, no, it's ninety nine. I think two thousand nine. He was in Baldwin. Herbie or something. Yeah. yeah, was he banging film, mate? <laughs> Great film, mate. banging film. Cannot argue with that one yeah, iota, matey. <laughs> nice. Well, I'm sure yeah. Hammond will be very happy to be snuggled up as well. Watching <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. watching the green. I mean, we won't ask Phil obviously because he's got beef. So let's <laughs> okay. not to let's not to ask. Um, so we've done film, we've done music. Um, we're talking about clothing and fashion of the night, which is a, a terrible time. I mean, looking at us now, you wouldn't believe it, but we were not into fashion back then. <laughs> was there a certain look that you uh, you rocked through your formative years? Uh, so you're like, if you said you were born in 1990, did you say to us? Yeah. So you'd only been up to 11 years of age during this. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I'm thinking, you know... Cracking pair of shorts. <laughs> Spider-Man jammers. I wear wear in my hand. That's it. <laughs> but an Ernie uh, slippers. <laughs> was, uh, what, what might you have been... Uh, been sporting back then oh what a few years ago yeah oh god i wouldn't even like to think to be honest probably saying really? that my mum's dressed are, are there things that <laughs> yeah. you would rather burn alive <laughs> yeah. photo-wise? Yeah. i don't want to see any photos from like <laughs> 10 years ago if i'm honest oh, man. no, no one's in their finest i've only just honest. figured out how to wear clothes <laughs> properly <laughs> It's fair. I think, it's yeah, fair man. Play. I think we, we sported some yeah. proper nasties, didn't we? Back I don't then. Know, I'd be very shocked if someone was looking like tip top and like back in the day. Like, <laughs> what yeah. you like, doing? Yeah, mate. Exactly. Yeah, it's yeah. so wrong with them, wouldn't it? I think everyone had. Yeah. Yeah, we all had some stinkers, didn't we? Let's be yeah, honest. of course. At least. Yeah, I think at least one or two. Apart from Phil, who hasn't changed his look since <laughs> maybe 1987. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely it's all coming he, back though. He knows like, what is. Sort of sort of it's all cyclical, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Definitely coming back, like the 90s sort of fashion, like. Baggy clothes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it's definitely. Time, yeah. It's all getting a little bit looser and stuff, isn't it, after definitely. the years of tight, tight, tight. Getting a bit stone roses here. Yeah. It is, yeah, 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 yeah. which is yeah, no yeah, bad thing. It's covering a multitude of expanding waistlines. Yeah, it always and, goes around. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah mate. Long, 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 Yeah, my missus, she, um, she got a uh, couple of bags of uh, clothes from her um, mum because she's just getting rid of it from the loft. Mm. And it's like bags of 90 stuff and like she was pulling out some of the <laughs> stuff she was pulling out it's like <laughs> absolute Roman no I can't wear that, yeah, yeah, can't wear that at I love that you're, 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 yeah. you're the arbiter of like good taste in this relationship it's just, now it's like no Claire you, okay, cannot, not, no, you no. cannot go near that now. oh yeah Molly might no. <laughs> it's not happening so there you go but. punishment for the kids they've got mm. to learn haven't they oh 100% man. let's dress 100. them in some absolute filth yeah character That's building it's it exactly what it is it hasn't done us any harm look at us look at us now look at me now mama Okay. I'm back to that damn frag. doing a podcast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> with these two lunatics. Uh, nice. All right, let's leave fashion where it belongs, very much on that island. Um, let's talk about uh, possible crushes in that case. Ooh. This is where it gets more interesting, you see. Yeah, he's rubbing, yeah. his, um, he's rubbing oh, his leg there. He's like, <laughs> he reads uh, yeah. <laughs> There's clearly something that's uh, triggered a memory. Yeah, so, I've, um, got, I've yeah. got an answer for this one. <laughs> No, yeah, yeah. So yeah, is there? <laughs> given that you were almost reaching that kind of age where girls starts being interested, boys starts being interested, whatever your uh, your 
boat maybe floated by. Um, who or what might have been your crush back then? So are we talking like two thousands or nineties? Uh, your uh, call. Yeah. Mm. If you if you liked an older lady back then. <laughs> Go with the nineties. I mean, like, there's, I think there's just like there's cooler people from the nineties. If right. I'm honest, like, yeah, you can't look up like two thousands. Like, I don't know, even artists and stuff. There ain't many cool ones. If no, yeah, like, you going, tough, you going for nineties then? Oh, I don't know. Someone a bit of a wrong and like Courtney Love or something. I think yeah. like yeah, yeah, something yeah. a bit bit rough yeah, and ready. Bit, like, bit filthy. <laughs> <feel, laughs> yeah. Can't argue. That. You know, I think she'd show you a good time. Yeah, she'd teach that box. She she showed many a person a good time back in the back in the day. Yeah, the tourists. Yeah. Very much so. That's not a bad chat, though. Yeah. Cool. Something, something like, about her. Cool. Yeah, celebrity. Yeah. Mate, she was, was fucking celebrity cool skin back in the day. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, cool. Yeah, like, like front, front man in a band, or front woman in a band. Yeah, yeah. of course, like, yeah. That's cool, man. That's questionable. Yeah, she pulled it off. Yeah. <laughs> questionable. Yeah, so she sort and of, cool. yeah, she shattered a bit. It's good. Yeah, yeah I don't, I don't yeah. mind that as an answer whatsoever. Yeah, yeah. Mate, she's a decent, yeah, she's a decent actress as well, isn't she? Yeah, but she's versus she's like, like we about about yeah, just a notorious just... pisshead. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So... guaranteed a good time with our court. <laughs> yeah, I reckon so, mate. Yeah, <laughs> nice, good work, good work. See, well, I was totally going off subject. Yeah, it just came oh, similar like kind of stra- stra- strapping. This could get was you, you watched that documentary this week on Paulie Yates? Uh, no, I have it. I did watch that actually. I forgot how, I forgot yeah, how nice really she good. was. Yeah, it was yeah. all right. Yeah. She's lovely. She's she lovely. Was really she was just on. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, the reason why is because it's Michael Hutchinson's. Oh, is it Hutchinson? Yeah, oh, Hutchins. 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 Yeah. Hutchins. Hutchins. I added an extra yeah. song on to him. Yeah, they were showing a lot of that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he she was, was um, like when she was in the younger years, she was really pretty. Like really Yeah, nice. she was. Yeah. She was yeah. Yeah. I forgot so how like yeah. what was it in he was in in excess. In excess, yes, yeah. They're um I don't mind some of in excess. There's quite a few. Yeah, right. Suicide, suicide yeah. Blondes. Kick-out blondes. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 I think we mentioned that right at the start of the 90s. Yeah, yeah. 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 Which shouldn't yeah. really work, like an Australian yeah. band. But, I mean, there's the odd one that comes through. But, yeah. Yeah, they were, uh, yeah I thought they were right, yeah. But, um, yeah, she was lovely, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So mm. I just want to yeah. off ball then. But... Do you know, yeah, no, do you know how he died? Oh, Hutchins? Yeah. No. What was it? Yeah. Was it over- auto auto erotic asphyxi- asphyxiation? Yeah. That sounds great. So, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's a way to go. Well, great for the orange. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> or the cleaner that found it, presumably. Yeah, was it not- auto erotic asphyxiation? Yeah. Yeah. What choking while you while you yeah, 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 you yeah, tugging away? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I see. Well, yeah. chocolate orange. <laughs> yeah, Terry's, 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 Terry's not so, right. Terry, Terry was fucking livid. Two more minutes, yeah, and it would have melted, and he would have yeah. been all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just took longer than he thought. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you don't put it in. He put it in with the foil all still round it. Yeah. Yeah. Silly <laughs> bastard, Michael. You're supposed to take it out of foil. Oh, 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 oh bollocks! <laughs> yeah. Getting oh, terrible shooting pains from all these fillings. Yeah, and stuff. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Poor little so and so. That went weird, didn't it? Paula said, "Stick to the table, right?" <laughs> That was somewhere else. Yeah, exactly. oh. okay. Before we besmirch oh, like, that yeah. poor man anymore, let's not. Sorry, uh, yeah. <laughs> let's oh. let's move along. So uh, we've covered covered crushes. We're going to go to the flip sides, mm. uh, if that's right, Sailor. Flip it. Mate. Um, so was there anyone back in that decade that was just an absolute melt that you think <clears> there's <throat> no way? If I got stranded on the island with them, they're definitely getting beaten up. I really don't like Robbie Williams. Ooh. There's not Ooh. many people that have been on this that really had a good, oh, a good, good choice. Mate, good choice, yeah. Anything in between. Stranded on an a, island with him, mate. Yeah. What was yeah, it that been, pushes a lot guys, of people's buttons, oh, yeah. yeah. It's been a couple of just times. his music, it's the way he, oh, I just don't like him, mate. He, <laughs> <laughs> he just looks yeah. like a girl. <laughs> 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 That's a, a real catch all. He looked like a girl. Yeah, last guess. And I'm done. It was, no, it was. I think it might be. I think Kate. Oh, Kate's, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was Kate. She chose him as well. Yeah, but no, I totally see where you coming from it mm. yeah, yeah mate. especially the one with all the, the makeup and the kiss sort of rip off thing could you, yeah. yeah. oh, you imagine that on an island oh. with you and Hammond <laughs> yeah. 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 Hammond, we would do him mate yeah. what is going on now? if Robbie turned up we would yeah. do him in oh, mate, <laughs> me <yeah>. and Hammond <laughs> yeah. so, have you seen him on uh, Felix uh, commercial for that cat is food no. sunset, isn't it? Oh, God. cringe! Cringe! Yeah. Oh. I mean, he's literally peddling any old shit now, isn't he? I think he's doing, <laughs> isn't he doing all those like mobile gaming things as well? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah I've seen probably, jewels probably. And puzzle games or something. Like that. Like, come on, you can't need money that desperately. Oh, yeah. you must Wait, when you're on a Felix quid. advert, that's how you do. Yeah, yeah, that's that's that. <laughs> you, you definitely don't they even introduce bottom, him or something. Yeah, yeah, it's like Felix and Robbie, isn't it? Yeah, comes up as yeah, exactly. It's one of those. You have to mention my name. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you want it associated with this fucking <laughs> dead food. rabbit, yeah. yeah, there's no way back into take that now, is there? Gary Barlow's like, fuck, I ain't having that. Yeah, I'm not Just having look at it. Yeah. That is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> 
And that's all I've got. <laughs> I'm trying to think of an equivalent who just turn up in like a dog food. Commercial. It's just so fucking random, isn't it? It's yeah, weird. It's like weird. Freddie Mercury. It'd be Duncan yeah, from Blue again, wouldn't it? <laughs> what, Tony? Duncan from Blue turning up for a dog food commercial. <laughs> fucking Dude. Caesar had that. Like. <laughs> yeah, again. You You're right there, boy. <laughs> yeah, again. <laughs> to the world code. Um, right, okay. Covered off. <laughs> Wind up merchants. All right. Williams must be like the third mm. charm we've had him on. Yeah, yeah, I think so, yeah. Definitely deserves Definitely his place in, uh, mm. in, in hell. <laughs> right. I mean, I went, I went from a desert island to hell. There's no in between with me. There's no one or the other. Everyone Where knows he belongs. that. Where yeah, he belongs. Exactly. All right, let's, fry, Robbie, fry. Before we rescue you uh, from this island, Taylor, we've got one question to ask, and it's a fucking big one. Mm. So, Hit me. there you are, you and Hammond. You're pr- patrolling the perimeter of your island. Yep. And you see a little uh, cask washed up, a little casket wash up, and inside that casket is one pot noodle. One noodle. What flavour are you hoping that pot noodle is? <sighs> I ain't had a pot noodle in years. I used to like the, uh, was it the Chinese chow mein one? Is that a blue one? Yeah, yeah I think it is. Yeah, 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 controversial. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, that has decent. not been picked before, I don't think. No, There's don't a lot of like, beef and tomatoes. No, and, yeah. well, What's sauce in that? Is that soy sauce, I'm guessing? Soy sauce, mate. Yeah, yeah. Straight soy in. Sauce. So that washes up. You and Hammond are like, right, we're going we're gonna to split that. And then round the corner of the island comes a, a boy band member. And he's got his eyes on that as well. Who Tell are you, you going to fight to the death? If it's Robbie, he get <laughs> he's oh. getting it. He's getting it. Let's assume you've killed him the previous weekend. <laughs> I was going to say, he's getting yeah, it. There, there ain't yeah. a pot noodle there. Is there another <laughs> boy band that really grated on you from oh, back then that you think, actually, gosh. I could just use this as an excuse to I hate boy them. bands. Boy bands are so cringe. Like, you can't some yeah, instruments, yeah, mate. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, you can't get up there as five blokes and sing to people. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fun your word your like only that. thing is a, a key change on a Rock storm. Rock and roll and about that. Yeah, like, yeah, pick up some instruments, mate. Yeah. Any boy band member. Any boy, any boy, any boy band member in the world. We could there wearing white suits. I want that for the record. Should we throw some at him and just see where they come on a sliding scale? Yeah, I think so. So what we got? You got... NSYNC. NSYNC are... Yeah, what do you want? Oh, okay, we'll, we'll give you the, the film gives you the band, and you, you tell us what, we're, what you do to him, and then we'll, we'll find out. <laughs> I don't it. know any members of InSync. All I know there is. There's the tall Kevin fella. <laughs> That Christmas video of their, uh, what's it, their Christmas song, where Ooh. they've got them trousers with, yeah. the, with the pants oh, that mate. are like yeah, drop yeah, crotch, yeah. and they're all standing like, the, oh, oh, mate, that's the cringiest thing Proper I've cringe. ever seen in my life. <laughs> so you got Any the, one uh, of them can get just bang. Get, yeah. get got. Uh, so would, you got shoot, British... would you shoot NSYNC? I'd shoot all of NSYNC. <laughs> oh, okay. With one <laughs> bullet, I'd line them up. Line them up. We've got the British NSYNC, Westlife. Westlife. How would you kill Westlife, How'd you kill Westlife, Tony? I'd uh, cut down a load of palm trees, find some way for Hammond to set them alight, and yeah. then just burn them on the stage. <laughs> a a, a funeral pyre of Westlife. Set up a line of boy band members. Boy band, yeah. <laughs> just, just keep, guide ooh, them. When, when the fire's going and you out, might get chuck saved another one. As well, yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. yeah. A raft. Yeah. A raft of bones. <laughs> There'll be like, a call. Spell out, you can away. spell out yeah. help. Yeah, yeah. With, with burning bodies. bodies. <laughs> with, yeah, exactly. with charred uh, bodies. What, charred bodies. What, like the Beatles? Help! It's so, because they're black, they'd show up against the sun. Whilst walking real contrast. Whilst walking across a midi raid, midi raid made zebra crossing of your life. Yeah, yeah. It's a tribute to the Beatles. Yeah. Oh, the Beatles nice always work their way in, didn't they? Yeah. Uh, Dale, what, what board um, are you offering up? I, I let you choose to. I let you help my uh, my choice, Taylor. Um, do you hate American boy bands or UK boy bands more? Nice I hate UK boy bands okay. because they should have the mental capacity to pick up instruments. Right. Have we had, we've had Westlife. We've we? had Westlife. What you got, Dale? What's in your Obviously locker? Take that with Robbie. So I don't want to go there. Take that. Oh, Ooh. hate them. Oh, oh, maybe it's Robbie yeah, turning yeah, up. Yeah, might be. Yeah, Robbie's <laughs> gonna, he's, he's coming he's down. Harley. He's got Felix. Uh, I, <laughs> I think, um, I think blue. blue, blue, yeah, yeah. Fucking hell. Lee Ryan instantly just yeah. jumps out. He was being Lee the Ryan, bigger, yeah. biggest knob of the four, didn't he? They're all Anthony Costa. They're all a bit, oh, Costa, yeah, yeah, but he's doing really well with the coffee shops. Isn't he? <laughs> he is, yeah, he's, he's doing great with that, isn't he? Yeah, he's probably not going to get straight. He's laughing. The other three yeah. are all <laughs> exactly. Why you shouldn't be in a boy band? It's true. You go on to coffee shops. This, it, true, it, yeah. It's a gateway drug. Yeah, like, boy, <laughs> bands, <laughs> boy bands to caffeine. Yeah. It's the yeah. Age old J- Justin tale. Starbucks is. Uh, <laughs> he did well for himself, yeah. didn't he? Yeah. Uh, uh, Barry Nero. Barry Nero, yeah. It's not He didn't make it. I was. We've run out of coffee Shay, shops, Shay, have we? Shane uh, Monjay. <laughs> Shane O'Monjay. Jesus. That's, that's appalling uh, me, man. Yeah, he's bad. Greg Greggs. <laughs> Greg Greggs. <laughs> Just to round it out, Greg Greggs. Delightful Greg stuff. Nice. Uh, well, I mean, that is a pretty thorough 
uh, investigation. Mm, yeah, that, it did well, man. Would you agree, gentlemen? It's a good anything last that, nice. Desert Island. It anything is that, very Anything lucky. you want to query on that? Anything? Any quibbles we've no, got? I, I mean, like you've it. obviously got beef with Hammond, so we'll pick that up after. Mm. Any beef <laughs> with Williams that as well? Needs to be oh, yeah, loads of beef. We'd better... Yeah. Oh, constantly. We all agree mm. with that, don't we? But we're all jumping on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you yeah. knock him to the floor, Taylor, we'll pile on. Yeah. Sweet. How's that? That, that sounds, sounds like great. a fair, fair yeah, trade. So, yeah. <laughs> nice. Well, take uh, that. Take that. Take that. Take that. Oh, <laughs> great pun work to finish <laughs> with. Uh, so that oh, was there. the final guest. Yeah. On Desert Island Dicks. All right, so we are still here, and we are still joined by our very special guest, Mr. Telekana. Hello, sir. Hello there. Um, so just before we um, hear some of your music, we thought we'd uh, talk to you about that exact subject. So um, musically from the sort of 90s and noughties, uh, we might have touched on it a little bit in a sort of previous, but let's expand some more. So what were your sort of three go-to bands that you thought these sum up what music's all about? Have you got that kind of... Level that you can distill it down to, or instantly what, for what me, were you thinking comes to my head: Stone Roses, Oasis, Nirvana. Like Ooh, I they're think, not not a bad three. <laughs> it's not a bad it's, three. It's quite a bad strong three. Yeah, three, is yeah it? it's great like, three. No one's really going. No, I don't agree with that. Yeah. That's absolute hogwash. That's no. what I mean. Great bands. Like, so, what was it about um, each of those that sort of flicked your switch? I mean. Like, you can just feel raw emotion, I think, like, just pouring out of each one of them bands. Mm. Like, you see Oasis play live, mm. and, like, you can just feel every ounce of emotion that's coming out of them songs. Same with Nirvana. Like, you see Kurt, Cobain, uh, Kurt Cobain's, um, like, performances, and he's, like, he's like an adaptation of his guitar and what he's doing yeah. on stage and his songs. You know what I mean? They're coming alive. Mm. And that's, like, massively what I took from them artists is, to, like, that passion in music and that love for music. I think it's instilled in me anyway. Yeah. But I think, like, I don't know, seeing other people do it, it's like a guidance into knowing that, like, you can, like, that's what you can be like. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always an allowance so, to just go, yeah, this is how it who, can be. Yeah, this who, is music. Go get it. Yeah. yeah. Who did you come across first out of all them three? Probably Nirvana. Really? Yeah, 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 probably. I was like, I was into Nirvana. I've got a tattoo recent. That's my most recent one, actually, Nirvana's logo. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, I got, um, yeah, I was just probably into them first. Just like, I've always loved a bit heavier music, yeah. I think, like slightly heavier. And they was always that for me, whilst always still having that, like, listenable side to mm. it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's that borderline of pop and grunge that, I, like, really drew me to them, I think. Yeah. Because yeah, they are quite, it, although it is grunge and heavy, mm. I listened to Nevar, uh, Nevermind recently, and mm. it, is, it is kind of a pop album. Yeah, you listen to Teen Spirit and it's a pop song. Yeah, yeah, mm. but, but it's just heavy. It's a grunge yeah. twist on it, like, that's what I love about it. Yeah. There's a few of the songs on that album, it's, it's actually a pop album, but just... yeah. With that grunge, ranked twist. up on a few like few yeah. notches, distorted it? guitars, yeah, yeah. like yeah. just pure emotion. That's what I just love about Nirvana's music. That you can see like that, all of that music has come from such a real place, mm. and that's what I love about like Oasis's music and stuff. Like I've looked a lot into Oasis and learned a lot about them and stuff, and it's all it's so real. Like, Are you looking at sort of early stuff, or do you? Could you listen to it all the way through? Is there a certain period? Is there an album that? To is... be honest, I don't really listen to much Oasis past the two thousands. Yeah. Like, yeah, be here now. Mm. That's probably my. So the third, and then kind yeah. of yeah, yeah like yeah. I, I like With a the couple of the line songs up and all the rest yeah. of it just went through a bit of too much yeah. flux. And I stuff. just think you can't beat them older songs. Like yeah. they're they're just timeless songs. Yeah, yeah, they're so great. How they was like, I don't get how they made them. To be honest, like it's, well, it's that, insane. They were like sneezing out songs for fun, weren't they? With like yeah. the, well, the fact of the B sides. Mm. Made the well, master yeah. plan, and they, yeah. even like back in our day, they had like the two uh, Benson and Hedges, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, that's right. The big the, cigarette the B sides, yeah, B-sides. just full of them, wasn't it? So many, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Every single single that they released had three amazing songs, songs on there, yeah, which is better than most people's. That's yeah, the thing with Oasis release. as well. Like, you listen to their albums, and song after song is like just a huge tune, <laughs> like, yeah, timeless tune. Yeah. They was great back in the day, proper force to be reckoned with, I think. Yeah, because that was sort of our seminal moment, though, wasn't it? So they came out in 93, 94, Four, so yeah. we were like 15, 16 at right. that point, which is like, and you hear that kind of, yeah, yeah I'm yeah. going to be better than this, I can get out of this town, blah, blah, yeah. blah, 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 I'm going to be, a, yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Rock and roll star, yeah. I mean, I think I come across Nirvana first, though. I think that was my first yeah. introduction. You were yeah. definitely into Nirvana, Nirvana first, yeah. wouldn't you, I think? Yeah, yeah. Bleach, was, no, yeah, I liked, yeah, I listened yeah, to that Bleach. again, actually, recently. 
Because obviously mm. we're going into the eighties soon, so I thought, oh, what what ones? And that's what the late eighties, but yeah, you got, great album, Bleach. you got a favorite yeah, Bleach, Nirvana album, yeah, Damn it. yeah, like Bleach and stuff. Like, is oh, I love that one because it's so like it's rough around the edges. Yeah, it's raw, yeah. Isn't it? yeah, 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 it's so raw. That's the what guitar I love riffs. It. I, mean, I remember mm. when I was younger. I like you don't remember the tape set, so I would I record the guitar riffs, and I'd have, I'd have a, well, like, a tape them. just yeah of just of just the guitar riffs. Guitar. It's, uh, fucking some great guitar riffs. Um, yeah, yeah, one of them. Brilliant. I think it's Love Buzz. Love, Love Buzz. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's not one of their songs. That that's an old song. Is it not? Yeah, it's oh, an right. old. I never oh, knew that until recently. Really? Oh, okay, yeah. but they it, you hear the original is completely mm. different. Oh, okay. So they. Done their own thing on it, but yeah, mm. it's a, I think it's an old seventies song or something really? like that. Right. Yeah, yeah, you hear the original; oh, really? it's completely different. Yeah. Wow, the yeah, school. I think Every... is my favourite of that. Really? School, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, such a great tune. I think yeah. Yeah. three lines. I think of lyrics for the whole tune. Yeah. Yeah. Three lines. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So that's all you need. Isn't it? That's all you need. Less man. is more. Yeah, and it's a great song. So we've touched yeah, the other two. What about the Stone Roses mm. in that case? Oh, what? I love Stone Roses. I just What's love that? their music. Mm. Like John Squire's riffs, you can't. No one can touch him. I don't yeah, think the yeah, geezer's yeah. like he's he was ridiculous, he's got some yeah. sort of touch on the guitar and like the way that he builds riffs around. Like, have you heard his other band, the Seahorses? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely, oh, mate, yeah. brilliant. Band. He was he was like, too he was too good for them, wasn't he? Was insane, yeah, wasn't it? I know. That's what I don't get. How they wasn't yeah. so much bigger than what yeah. they were because Kinda. you listen to they their music, chance, like, blinded by the sun. Like, yeah, oh my god, great one, yeah. amazing songs. And they yeah. did. They did a single after they did the album. So I think they were trying to push towards the second album. I don't know what happened. Yeah. They just imploded, they did, didn't they? I think. Yeah, it was I like a uh, single. Was... You can talk to me. Yeah. And then after that, they just yeah went. To I the think part. Squire was quite hard to work with. I apparently, think so. from like the things that I've read, like he's quite he like was... a hard-headed, stubborn. Yeah. But knows what he wants to do. So yeah, basically. it's not my way kind of thing. Yeah. So well, it's not going to work out. Yeah. I've read the book about the Stone Roses, and it apparently is to do with Squire's cocaine addiction. Right. And Ian Brad, because if you listen to, I think it's um, Second Coming. Yep. There's so much. I, I think Ian Brown wanted to go more Fool's Gold. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was the general. It was like a bluesy album, album yeah, Second he, Coming, wasn't it? Pretty yeah, much. Like, I think he thought that uh, Squire was being a bit indulgent in the in the guitar. Whereas I think you hear with like Standing Here, have you heard and all stuff? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I love them, but it's a big so gap as well, wasn't it? it? It's about five years. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, first one was '89, years. and it's '94. The second yeah. one. Yeah, second that's second a big no, old gap. They're my favourite band. That's one of my favourite albums. Yeah. That second was, coming. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's still a decent album. Yeah. So good. I do. Um, but the Stone Roses. Stone Roses. That's that's my, I think, I my favourite album of all time. Oh, oh yeah. I, I love, love spreads. That, that change. It just keeps like, going and going, yeah. doesn't it? It's like yeah. Oh, just when it's just yeah, and we're back. Go on. Yeah, there's some great lyrics in on. I can't remember some of the other one. It's um. I've seen your severed head at a banquet for the dead, and there's there's mm. like little things like that. And there's their other... first album, though, like Stone Roses. You just can't beat it. Yeah, think. that's my like favourite album of all time. Like Falls yeah, Gold yeah. and Waterfall, and we got yeah. lucky enough to see them when they sort of came they back. Come again, back. Didn't they? Oh, yeah, really? Yeah. yeah, yeah the... was... was that in 2016? What, um, it was one of the most raucous. Yeah, it was that V. Gigs we've one seen. of the last V's, wasn't it? Well, we went to see them at um, Wembley as well, didn't we? Yeah, sorry, we saw them at Wembley and, and then we saw, saw them at Wembley as well. Yeah. yeah, so we saw them a few times, but they were just yeah, the musicianship good. was amazing, wasn't it? Yeah, it was just then you got like Brown's Brown. voice. Yeah, can't really. He kind yeah. of let it go. Oh, like, he did. Like, it was an amazing recently. build up, and then yeah. it was like Annie and singing. Oh, oh, mm. don't okay. Like that. <laughs> Didn't they come back oh. recently, like last year, and they got absolutely slated because of Ian Brown, or was that just Ian Brown? The videos of Ian Brown recently, like I remember, sad. I remember, didn't people ask for their money back or something? He was so bad or something. Shit. Oh well, well. Yeah. Not love it, Brown. Yeah. He's like, proper. He's always been a bit. He's never had the best voice. No, yeah, yeah. but he had it about him back in the day. Yeah. Like when, in '89 when they first came about, yeah, yeah. he had stuff, it about him. He had the swagger and he could, he could pull off what they was doing in their songs. Yeah, right. But yeah. Now as like a bit of an older guy, like, time's a bit of a killer, isn't it? On that, yeah, he's he a bit. Really be like, like, okay, yeah, yeah, like it's, it's, he has killed him a little bit. He's got to be in his mid. 50s now yeah. easily he's got oh, yeah. 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 Off six, yeah. Yeah. Again, even when we saw him as a, a solo artist his musicians were mm. amazing yeah. and then he would get to him and he yeah. sort of yeah. go, I'm out of the bar now it's the same with this, it's uh, Happy man. Mondays with Sean Ryder he <laughs> can't yeah. sing for yeah. Toffee and he, no. I think is it Rowetta yeah, he's back in singer, gets him out of jail because they're sweet tones, and then he's like, <laughs> obviously singing, it. Yeah, yeah, it makes up and it kind of works in a weird way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's amazing yeah. how many. Yeah, I don't six, know if six or seven or that. Sweet <laughs> six or seven pills can hurt you, get you through anything. Yeah. <laughs> nice. But yeah, no, they're amazing. Oh, good. good it's a great, it's a great three, great three choice. Yeah. Is there any one of the modern day that's kind of doing interesting things in your opinion, or is it just a soul case? 
Yeah, it's just so <laughs> yeah, yeah. case, mate. That's that is the case. best thing floating about yeah, these days. Can't argue with that. Um, no, to be honest, like I don't really listen to much new music. To be honest, but mm. like I don't think there's that much good stuff coming about. Like, because mm. the thing was back in the day, like you needed the personalities with the bands that were coming along. Like, for example, Stone Roses, mm. Oasis, and Nirvana mm. and stuff. You had them frontmen who were characters in themselves. Like, you don't have that now. Like, you've got rock music now, but you don't have rock and roll stars. Like, yeah. mm. people aren't... A bit sanitised. Yeah, bit. People, yeah, like, yeah. people are too afraid of online of or in person or whatever, like, coming across a certain way. But if you're doing... Like, if you're in a rock and roll band, mm. like, you need to be a rock and roller. Do you know mm. what I'm I mean? I'm intrigued to know what you're doing on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go watch Come and see me. I man. love it the way... I love his talk. Hey, God, do it. What's just, he just, doing? Yeah. He's, <laughs> what throw, is he Throwing doing? knives around. Yeah, he's yeah, having yeah. a poo on the stage. He's just <laughs> let loose. Do you, do, you, do you lose yourself? <laughs> as soon as it touches stage, it's a do you get off, story. Do you get, do you, when yeah. it finishes, you get off back and you go, fuck, I was a bit of a dick. What did I do for the last half hour? Do you remember what you do then? Yeah, like, it goes quick up there, but like... Yeah, like you just get immersed in it. Yeah, when it's a different story. When you're up there and you're singing songs that you've written and you hear it coming from behind you because mm. people are playing it, and then also in front of you, you've got people that are loving it yeah. and people that are like, yeah, like proper getting into it. It like it pumps yeah, you up. Yeah, like you yeah, proper yeah. get into it. It's so yeah. weird. And then for like two hours after, you've got people coming up to you going, oh, mate, so good, so good, and all this. Yeah, stroke away, you yeah, go some more. Come on. <laughs> tell me, tell me <laughs> how good I am. I quite like this. Wow. Yeah. wow. That, that must be a nice little touch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Or does no, it? it. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on those leather trousers, though, doesn't it? Oh, nice. Ah, oh, well, uh, mm-hmm. what we can uh, do now is move from that mm-hmm. seamlessly to hear one of your tunes. Yeah. It's going to be an absolute pleasure. Um, yeah, so we should we, it. for the meantime, should we, um, should we thank ghost. our guests properly? Yeah. Camp yeah. Ghost, to the ready. Yes. Three, two, one. Thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> Taylor Gada! Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. That's all right, no, isn't it? <laughs> this is Walk the Lion, new song, Soul Case. Catch me when I fall Do you think I'd even care at all? Please be the saviour of my soul I don't know, but lately uh, I just want to run away and see how far the both my legs can take me All that she said is written on the walls inside my hand She takes me there I hope I never have to go back to this place again Cause I keep on losing track, I nearly lost the grip on who I really am All I could do was stand and stare, I had to watch as the shadow disappeared This one, he fears the sun, but he fears no one Everything can be undone I'll keep going till my heartbeat stops and air escapes my lungs But not today, my friend You won't take me down again When it feels like there is nothing else that's left to do but run Don't stop for anyone Don't 
stuff for anyone. Thank you. They say that all good things must come to an end, and the same is true with podcasts. So that is your lot. Stop being greedy. Go and talk to your husband or wife, your kids, a friend, your cellmate, maybe a counsellor, whoever. It's only a few days until we release the next episode, so go and do something productive. Go on, bugger off. Love you. See you.